Really wasn't expecting this today. A Highland cow. I don't know what that kind is because it's white. I'm presuming this is a Highland cow. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the horns on him. Hello. Hello. No, come on. I'll walk away, I don't want to disturb you. Absolutely beautiful. I've been noticing these and I've wondered if to get my long range camera out and get some pictures of them because there's loads of them. But I didn't realise they could actually get over here. Hello. Come on then. Come on then. He's coming. He's coming. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. No, I'm backing off. <laughs> They are beautiful and they're usually pretty friendly, well they are friendly, they're just a bit nervous but uh, I don't want to disturb them. How lovely. So how many campsites do you know with Highland cows? If you know of any please let us know in the uh, description, it's always that nice to know. That was amazing. <clears throat> Some people love Highland cows, in particular us. Yeah. So yeah let us know if you know of any others. Right, that's where we went yesterday, down to Iron Bridge. A last minute decision. Coming home yesterday. <laughs> oh, we managed, but only Ooh. just, only just. It was hard work, <laughs> yeah. But we did say, we didn't stop for a rest at all in Iron no. Bridge. We didn't sit down or anything. Oh. It was a very hot day and we hadn't had any fluid Fluids. or anything. No, no water, nothing. So that is as bad as it would get. Yeah, you I know. got home, jumped straight in the shower, downed about three pints of water, didn't I? I, yeah. was... <laughs> I think, uh, you know, if it's a bit overcast, a bit colder, ooh, uh -huh. um, it wouldn't be too as hard anyway. Yeah. Can I do my good morning? Good morning! Oh, is that your good morning? Yeah. Oh. Do your good morning. Are you all right. <laughs> so we're off into Brosselly today. Um, it's just a tiny village, I think, but most people just go to Ironbridge. It's a small town, actually. It's a town. Uh, it, uh, it says town, small town. It's it says Brosselly in bloom, gold award and small town category winner. Maybe it is a small town. Yeah. Um, we can't see anything yet, apart from houses, but I think once we get over the hill... A big hill. <laughs> there might be a few things to see. So let's go check it out. As I said, most people go to Ironbridge. I don't think anyone ever comes to Brosselly. But we were on a campsite somewhere. It wasn't even near here, really. No. And picked up a leaflet for this place. <clears throat> Brosselly, so... I was looking into it anyway. Let's check it out. If there's a horse going through the town, it must be a nice town. I'm sick of hills. <laughs> well, I think once we get to the top of here, it's probably going to dip down at the other side. <sighs> so I've just realised this was a coal mining town. You mentioned it yesterday, you had a feeling, didn't you? I did, didn't you? I did. Yeah. Now, yeah. there is a bit of a sculpture trail here. There's only, yes. like, there's only six of them. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the first we've come across. It's very nice. It's a miner pushing. What do you think that is, is pushing, Mazzy? What do you call it? Like a tram thing, cold tram thing. What do you mean? It's a mobby. <laughs> a mobby. They call that a mobby. It's really good. It's actually made out of like a track. So he's pushing the mobby, and then what happens to that is it's loaded into. Do you know what it's loaded into? You know, like the bigger ones. I don't know. A carriage. They're actually called Dan's. Yeah, well, you're just trying to be smart, aren't you? Make me look silly. Well, I am smart. You are silly. Stop that, you can behave today. So yeah, we're expecting to see more of these, but yeah, I like that. I do like to see that. 
Yeah. People have put a lot of, uh, a lot, I'm talking hundreds of DVDs out there just saying, please help yourself. Yeah, it's kind, isn't it? Mm. And on top was Amateurville Horror. Yeah, love that film. It's just a shame we haven't got a DVD player. Hmm. <laughs> a tobacconist's there, but it's closed down. I was saying, I bet you anything there's a tobacconist in town. Yeah, because the Pipe Museum is here. Apparently. Yeah. A pipe museum. A museum just for smoking pipes. Can't see that being very interesting, really, I'll be honest with you. It's looking, know. You know, know, there's some nice looking old fashioned pipes, but is it really good enough to go in a museum and <laughs> yeah, look at them I all? I don't know if I'd pie. <laughs> it, might, it might be nice, who knows. <laughs> so there is a pub. Yeah, Lion Hotel. Lion Hotel, I like the look of this, Mazzy. Takeaway available Wednesday and Sundays, homemade specials, Sunday lunch. Can you really get a takeaway Sunday lunch? But why would you want to only wait till every Wednesday or Sunday to get a takeaway? <laughs> oh, I think two a week's enough for anybody. Yeah, but maybe I don't want one on a Wednesday. I want one on a Tuesday. I just want a Sunday lunch. Yeah. <laughs> takeaway Sunday lunch. I'm not keen on sitting at tables. I in do. Places. I like eating out. Oh, fruit and veggie shop. Yeah, nice fruit and veg shop if you need anything, Mazzit. Got plenty today. That old sign, Downs. So we found the butchers. Yeah, family butcher. And it, it's got the most amazing looking Cornish pasties in the window. I am going to have to get one of them. Because you didn't get your pie yesterday, did you? I didn't. To be honest. panicking about this boss. <laughs> well, I decided that I had so much in the freezer anyway. Yeah. I've got a week full of food there. Yeah. And one other thing we were thinking of was a barbecue at the campsite, but yes. we haven't seen anyone having one. We are on like a grassy pitch. I don't think it's... If, if, if we'd had a proper gas one... If we had bricks even... <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's we're going to... It's just gonna, a disposable one. Yeah, we're not going to bother with that. Yeah. Right, let's but, go for Yeah, one. I'll get one of them on the way back up. Will you? They, they look better than the ones yesterday. They did look incredible. <laughs> I'm just looking at this little barn a bit here, look. It's unusual. The butcher's kitchen, they even have their own little kitchen there, little... Like a cafe. Cafe or something. Yeah. So it's called Simon's, Simon's Traditional Family Butcher. Home baked pies. Made them at home, Mazza. Now, we were talking about hand-reared pork pies yesterday. Yeah. And apparently, it's just how they make the pies. It's something to do with how you put the pastry in and then you knead it up the side of the thing. Oh, okay. It's not about home-reared pigs or anything right, like that. Right, okay. So there you go. I learn something new every day. So apparently, the famous ones which do it in that way are yeah. the Melton Mowbray pies. Oh, okay. We're seeing a lot of pubs. Yeah, this particular one looks nice. The butcher's bar. The old butcher's shop bar. I like that. It looks beautiful inside. Yeah, and yeah, really pretty. You know, instead of giving it a pub name, if it used to be a butcher's, why not just call it the old butcher's shop bar? Yeah. Love it. And the Albion right next door. Yeah, nice place if you're a drinker, I should imagine. Kebab oh, shop. pizza and... Oh, it's got the word grill after it, Mazzy, so it's bound to be nice. It's gonna be nice. Mm. There's a few empty shops, I've noticed. There's not a lot here, if I'm honest. Oh, I like the Victoria Hall. That's pretty. Looks like a railway station, kind of, doesn't it? 1867. An absolutely beautiful yes. little garden here. I love communal gardens, places like it's this. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Really well kept. Somewhere to chill out. Yeah, we're just going to go sit down for ten minutes and enjoy it. That were a nice sit down. Yeah, really peaceful. We've both got very achy legs today <laughs> from walking up that hill yesterday. <laughs> really hard. Mm. Now these trees around here. I've seen something similar before and I always thought they were just dead trees, but they're not. They're actually designed like that. Are they? Yeah, they make them they're look like that. They're not pruned back or something? No, they're a special kind of tree. Well, I don't know. I don't know, but 
I think it's quite a skill to make them look like that. But it's a lovely little uh, place. Yeah. I think it's called the Memorial Garden to all your World War. Um, soldiers and things. Beautiful. Right, we're going to carry on down here. There isn't much here, we'll be honest. It's no. a very small little... <laughs> Well, it's called a town, but it's a very small town. I think there's about 4,000 people live here, 5,000. But we'll keep going. Looking for a Quaker What's burial it? place. What's that? What's a Quaker? Yeah. Amount of burial Quaker things we've seen in the yeah. past, and you're asking me what one is. But I never knew what one was. What does the word Quaker mean? It means someone who can make really good porridge. Quaker's porridge. <laughs> Only the Scottish can make good porridge. <laughs> There's someone famous, you see, buried in the Quaker burial place. Here, oh, okay. Is there a sign anywhere for this one? Not. Clearly a pit pony. Really well made, these. Whoever the artist is, is very, very good. Yeah, very nice. Fish and chips behind you, Mazza. Oh, yeah. And they're open. They are open. <laughs> the one yesterday looked amazing. Well, someone said the one from yesterday is very nice, fish oh, and chips. Oh, you should have got some. I think they said they stayed on our campsite and they got fish and chips from that. Oh, did they? Mm. <laughs> I bet they didn't walk back. <laughs> <laughs> we almost didn't come down to the church because it looked quite a long way away, but it, it isn't that bad. Uh, the sculptor of these things looks like G.J. Foxall, 1983. But this one's a cracker. This is brilliant. So much detail inside under there. Yeah, we'll go under there in a second. So you've got two, I can't remember what you call them now. These aren't the dams. These take the call to the dams. Two of them on the tracks. And in here, oh, you've got all this coal up here. A little lantern there and look coal miners working under here it's fantastic look at his belt T Ford it says on the bottom of his shoes really really nice what I'd be worried about as the sculptor is if anyone came along and dropped a cigarette under there with all this coal it's going to burn, isn't it? Is it real coal? I don't know, I'm guessing so. Yeah, it looks like coal to me. So you've got Brosselly Hall just over there. And the church, it looks beautiful. Yes. Just get the beauty from Mazzy. She does like her trees. <laughs> it's very, very well kept in here. Yeah, it's beautiful. But the church in particular is quite spectacular really for such a small town isn't it it's really pretty it is a nice church and the funny thing is we're right at the end of the town here yeah um and apparently this used to be the center of town where the church is you want to go in have a look just stick our head in yeah we'll we stick won't bore in. everyone let's just stick our head in <laughs> a beautiful church this one i don't think it's particularly old 17-1800s but very nice a nice organ up above let's take a quick look over here very nice yeah very nice peaceful church this I like it Yeah, it's got a lovely yeah. feel. Um, and you've got a funeral buyer. Beer? This was rescued from a fallen down shed at the bottom end of Barrow Churchyard in 2021. There's something on here about going in the tower. Oh, yeah. Unaccompanied persons access to the tower and basement, so. It, it sounds like you can go in the tower, but I don't know. Yeah, entering the tower and doing a run. 
Try, like the try the dogs, that's your kind of thing. Yeah. Oh. It's locked. Yeah. Never mind. I'm yet to go up one though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice church. I like that. And I like the fact there's a really old door here leading to the hall. Now I thought there was a Quaker burial ground here. I can't find it on Google. The only one I can find is near a Telford. But it's where the guy who built the bridge is buried. Oh, the first iron bridge in the world. Yes. Yeah. What's his name? If you'd have asked me an hour ago, I'd have known. I can't remember now. Oh, <laughs> is it Derby? Someone Derby? <laughs> um, Apparently, yeah, that bridge, it's, it's special because it's made like you'd, you'd do um, woodwork. You right. know, the same joints you use in woodwork, they used the it on the... Yeah. yeah. They used that on the bridge. Okay. Which would have been quite impressive. I'd, I wish I'd have looked a bit closer yeah. at it now. <laughs> How pretty. It is. They've got a lot of these in, the, in around this area, haven't they? Well, it's just time of year, it's magnolias. They're looking absolutely beautiful. So is this house. It's lovely. It's cute, isn't it? Mm. Well cute. Hey, come back here, you. <laughs> come on, let's get home. Yeah. Let's have some tea. Show everyone what you bought. Family minced beef. A family pie, £3.25. It was two for five quid. Bargain. But I only got one. So you're going to leave the Cornish pasty, aren't so you? So I'm not going to get the Cornish. <laughs> I thought that were a really good price. Yeah. And a minced beef pie. That's I can't one think of, your of anything. favourites, isn't it? Well, it's something I've never had in years and years. But I love minced beef and I love pie. So right. I'm having that with chips and gravy, gravy and, peas. and peas. Yeah, let's get on. Yeah, hurry up. I'm starving. So we are back. The sun's held out today. It wasn't supposed to be quite as nice, but it's been really nice. A bit cooler, but lovely. Um, anyone who knows this campsite, can you let us know? There's a Benthal Hall in that direction. Now we've seen quite a few people walking through here and towards the woods down there and over here. So can you actually walk to the hall, Benthal Hall, um, from this campsite? you know, through the fields, or do we have to go up the lane and across? Because we want to go there, it's quite close, and it's just like a stately home. We thought it might be another nice day out. Um, Hello, I'm just cooking dinner, preparing dinner. Preparing the pie and peas and your yes. salady things. I'm doing my salady bits. You're gonna have mushrooms, chips, pie, gravy, peas. Mushy peas. Yes. Looking forward to that. Um, right, the jitties. I don't know if we've mentioned them in the video, but we keep coming across the we word jitty. We keep coming across it, and we've still not got an explanation to what it is. I think it's a sneak it. Well, I have got an ex explana oh, have explana you? explanation. Okay. Now, because I got a leaflet. Yeah, but that don't really explain it. I read it that. It sort of does. Explore the brosselly jit jitties. <laughs> Right, so we had to pick, we got this from the church. Um, now the jitties, we haven't actually, we've walked past that area on the way to Iron Bridge, but they're all very close together, dozens of them. What is a jitty? Well, I've just been reading it, and it says here, the brosseline jitties, the brosseline jitties are a maze of narrow lanes and passageways that link together a higgledy-piggledy jumble of old squatter cottages. Each jitty has a distinct name reflecting its history and folklore and the people who once lived there. I'm fascinated by that. So if it is like tiny little passageways and stuff, Mazzy, and they're all close together, I think that's something yes. we should look at. But I've seen some of them. Some of them are up like that and some of them are down like that. I'm fed up with hills today. <laughs> well, luckily you don't have to go today. We'll go another day. We're definitely doing it, Mazzy, because I want to see some jitties. I've never seen a jitty in my life. And actually, we've only got tomorrow left, haven't we? Uh, <coughs> no, surely not. I think we've only got tomorrow left as a full day. How many days have we slept here? Two nights? 
We've got three more nights. No, I think we've been here three nights. I think we've been here two nights. No, the first night when I we didn't go out. I think we've been out. here two nights. I think we've been here two nights. I don't know. We've been here two nights. We've got three more nights, Mazzy. <laughs> if you're lucky, if you're very lucky, there might be another magic trick coming before the end of the video. We'll wait and see. In the meantime, um, a tip I got from Damien. I think it was Damien. Damien Jones. Damien Jones. He's very good at these tips at cling and stuff. If you go over to his channel, well, he's been watching you for years, hasn't since he? Since day one, I think. Yeah. From the metal detecting days, he's always been around. Oh. Um, he gave a tip. White vinegar. What do we need white vinegar for? Well, we've got the white vinegar. Um, come with me. I'm just going to do a little experiment tonight. Because oh, you need to leave this overnight. If I can somehow get this out, bear with me, bear with me, right, get that off, right, see this, I, I was talking about these going a bit rusty, the screw holes, the screws, so I'm going to take them screws off and soak them in white vinegar, and I'm going to take this off as well, because that's looking a bit weird, just see what happens, leave it overnight and if it works, I'll do all the rest. So I've taken them off. And you can see, you know, you can see what needs sorting. All the screws are going rusty. So, fingers crossed, white vinegar is going to work. I'm hoping this is just normal white vinegar. Of course it is. It's white and it's vinegar. Yeah, because it is. <laughs> Seems a bit of a shame because Sarsons is a good vinegar. Yeah, they didn't have cheap shop brand. Yeah, it were a good one. Yeah. So we're going to use one of Mazzy's favourite um, cooking it's baking trays. It's not the best, but you know, I do use it. And if this ruins my tray, you'll buy me a new tray. There's a cow, look. The cows are coming back. Oh, yeah. So this might be really cool, but I have thought of a downside to it which I'll go into when I've done it. So I'm gonna put the screws in. Come on, come on, have a close look, Mazzy. Have a look at your manky screws. <laughs> I'm gonna just put that in like that. It's gonna take a lot of vinegar, isn't it? It is. Oh, no, but I don't like the smell of vinegar, so that's gonna to have to sit in the boot overnight. Well, that is the problem I was just going to say. Oh. I'm just gonna leave it outside. Yeah, it'll be fine out there, won't it? Uh, it's unfortunate we can't get it all under, but... Uh, you can just keep flipping it over. Oh, it's a bit smelly. I might as well use it all, haven't I? No, keep a little bit for your other screws. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll just put that under the garage and come back to it tomorrow, see if it's made any difference. Magic trick time, are you ready? Yeah. I've got a magic machine. A magic machine. Are you ready for this? <clears throat> Let's do this. Oh, try again, try again. Magic. Wow. Thank you very much. <laughs> Magic machine. <laughs> Two comments I wanted to put across here. I do like it when people put in quite funny comments. And I think we should start, you know, mentioning them. If yeah, they're worth if, if they're, they're worthy of the vlog and they're funny, we should yeah. put them in. Uh, one guy, Nomad UK said no it wasn't oh yeah nomad uk when we said we're going on a narrow boat yeah he said can you get stabilizers on a narrow boat this guy can crash anything i thought that was quite funny can you yeah. imagine stabilizers on a boat and yes i do need them and yes i probably will crash the narrow boat do we need helmets um if you've got one yeah <laughs> the other one i liked was yesterday's hand raised pork pies yeah Apparently, it's just the raised over your head when they're serving them. So is, they, ra they raise is, the hand when they're that, coming to serve them to you. Is that meant to be funny or is that really true? No, that is meant to be funny and I thought it was quite... It tickled me, it tickled okay. me. Okay. The pie is nearly ready. Yes. 
I know it's nearly ready because I've just seen it and it looks ready and it looks amazing. <laughs> You're not going to have the whole pie on the plate, are you? I am going to have the whole pie on a no, plate. No, there's not going to be no room. Really? I am going to have the whole pie on a plate, yeah. Uh, on top of that, I didn't know I were getting this. I knew I were getting mushrooms, but I did not know I was getting, like, mushrooms in gravy. Onion gravy. How lovely. It's with chips. Yeah. And peas. Mushy peas. It's not going to fit on one plate, is it? <laughs> Just give it five minutes. Five no, it's minutes. not going to fit on a plate. What do you want to do? Do you want two plates? Oh, I don't know what to do now. Maybe you're going to have to make two plates up. <coughs> calm down, calm down. Make two plates up, right? I'll eat one, and if I want the other one, I'll eat it straight after it. If not, I can just microwave it later, can't I? But I can put half the pie on there. Yeah, half what? a pie. But put half of the chips on. No, I don't mean one of them. I mean two of these. Make two full dinners. It is a family size pie. Basically, make me chips, that, peas, and half a pie on two plates. So, shall I remove my dinner from my plate then, shall I? Because we only have two plates. Yeah, get that muck off. What a waste of a good plate. Before my tea is served, just a very quick tip for everybody. See this hand wash? Really, really, really posh, expensive hand wash. Bayless and Harding elements. White tea and Neroli with vitamin E. e. Luxury hand wash. You know, and it's vegan. Like, really posh uh, hand wash, right? What you do is you buy one of them. Admittedly, it costs you a bit for your first bottle. But then after that, my mum taught me this trick. After that, you just keep taking the, the top off and put some really cheap rubbish in. And then all your guests think you're really posh and you're using really posh stuff, but you're not. You're actually using, you know, really cheap stuff from somewhere like Aldi. I can tell you now, your mother wouldn't be doing that. I can tell you now, she does. I bet you 20 quid she does not. <laughs> Okay, we're getting there now. Do you want to see the inner of the pie before I start? Look at that. That's quite meaty, isn't it? Can I look at the other one so I can see? Yeah, that he wants me to do two plates. Can you believe this? Yeah, well, it won't all fit on one plate, so it's the only option, isn't it? So we're going to have two plates. I'll eat one, and if I'm still hungry, I'll eat the second, uh, which I will. But if I'm not, I can just reheat the other in the microwave later on. It's a win-win situation, isn't it? This looks beautiful, Mazzy. Thank you very much for doing this, oh, this gravy welcome. thing because that's going to make it, is that? You're welcome. Right, go sit down then. Dinner's up. A great big fat wow. Who's jealous? Wow. Oh, it's incredible, Mazzy. Is it? It's incredible. That's what I like about spa. This is a spa we got this pie from. Yeah. And they do like they do seem to support like local butchers Businesses, and stuff. Yeah. It, that's not from in the town, isn't that butchers? But it must be pretty close by. You don't get that in the co-op. It's just standard in every co-op everywhere you <laughs> go, isn't it? That is beautiful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Right. Enjoy. Will you go away now and just let me have my tea? Yeah. Shall we say goodbye? Oh yeah. Bye. Bye. So as beautiful as that was, I would not class that pie as a family size pie. You need one per person. Thank you, Mazzy.